And good morning again from Capitol Hill. Joining us here, the incoming director of the National Economic Council, Larry Summers. Mr. Summers, thank you. Well, it's going to be quite a couple of days here, but once the, uh, once the music stops, you're going to have your work cut out for you. Uh, the economic recovery package you and the new president are proposing now up to $825 billion. Some people say even that is not going to be enough. I think you yourself have written uh, it would be worse to do too little uh, than to do too much. Uh, is this going to pass and when will be we begin to see the effects of it? The president's gotten a terrific response so far from members of the House, members of the Senate. We're working hard and in collaboration with the House and the Senate. I expect the program will pass uh, within a month. Some of the adjustments can take place uh, almost immediately as people see more income in their paychecks, as state and local governments will get support so that they can prevent uh, layoffs of teachers, policemen, other essential personnel. And there are a ton of shovel-ready projects that are out there that are being canceled right now that aren't going to have to be canceled uh, when this program uh, passes. All told, there's enough here that uh, Christina Romer, the president's chief economic advisor, has estimated that it'll create between three and four million jobs. That estimate's been validated by others on uh, the outside. This really is, we believe, what the economy needs. It is provides the jobs that it's so obvious that people need. You know, well, we are you had the worst week, we had the worst year ever in terms of job loss uh, last year. But it's doing the work that the country needs to do, whether it's uh, roads, whether it's is energy, whether enough? it's health care. Is this going to be enough, or have we reached the limit of how far we can go on this? Will it have to be larger? This is one phase of the president's program. He's also committed himself to substantial efforts with respect to housing, to prevent foreclosures, to a financial recovery program that will get the credit, uh, get the credit flowing again. And he's made it very clear that he is going to do what is necessary to uh, get us out of uh, this economic hole. This is the largest uh, such program in the country's uh, history. Uh, Three million, four million uh, jobs is going to make a very big uh, difference. It all depends on psychology, but we are going to be leaning forward throughout this administration. The uh -oh. president's made it clear that our errors are not going to be of standing back. The president is going to insist that we do what's necessary to get this economy moving. Uh, a big part of it, of course, is going to be tax cuts. But I, I guess the question, and there already seems to be some disagreement on this, are you going to try to repeal the tax cuts for the upper income people, as Nancy Pelosi wants to do, the so-called Bush tax cuts? Or are you going to let those uh, stay in place for a while? Look, our overall focus is going to be on increasing spending. On net, there's going to be a substantial tax cut for the American people. No one with an income of under $250,000 is going to see their taxes uh, go up. Working families are all going to get $1,000. The Bush tax cuts, as you know, Bob, are, expire, are scheduled to expire in two years in any event just by law. Just what the timing will be is something that's going to be worked out uh, well, are you going with, forward. Uh, but, the focus, but the focus is really going to be on moving this economy forward by putting money in the hands of the people who need well, it most, America's middle, class, America's middle class families. Are you family. going to leave those uh, tax cuts in place, or are yeah. you going to let That's them stay That's going to be something that will get worked out uh, in the legislative process. The focus right now for the president, I believe the focus for all Americans, should be on how we're going to get this economy going. And that really goes to the question of what we're going to do for middle class families. Uh, you said you think you'll see some of the impact of, of this stimulus package uh, immediately, but is the economy in general going to get worse before it gets better? How long do you think this is going to last before we're out of this thing? We're inheriting, President-elect Obama is inheriting a situation no president has inherited uh, since FDR. The economy lost 2.6 million jobs, you know, and Bill Clinton left, uh, left office and I left as his Secretary of the Treasury. The country was buying back the federal debt. President-elect Obama, even before anything in his program, is inheriting a deficit of over a trillion uh, dollars. 
these problems weren't made in a week or a month or a year, and they're not going to be fixed in a week or a month or a year. You look at the forecasts, there's no question, uh, almost no question, that the economy is going to decline for some time to come. But what we can do is demonstrate a commitment to the job creation, to the income creation, to the financial repair that are necessary uh, for a recovery. And that will instill confidence and it will come. Just when it will come, no one can, no one can say. And the next months are almost certainly uh, going to be difficult. But you know, Bob, uh, psychology is a lot of this. And I think the sense of a new leader with a clear plan, with a commitment to being aggressive, to recognizing that government's got to support the market system at a moment like, uh, like this, I think that's going to add to, uh, add to confidence. Uh, you know, it's never happened before in our history that a president has gotten a major piece of legislation. Uh, supported mm-hmm. in the Congress even before he's inaugurated, do you as the think, president uh, did, w- did, with, uh, did with finance. So it's going to be very hard for some time, we'll, but we're going to make progress. Do you think we'll see unemployment actually get to 10%? I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think so, Bob. I, I think that uh, while we're going to see substantial job losses, uh, frankly, what's important about the president's program here is that it is going to contain what would otherwise be a just a vicious cycle. People spend less, therefore they earn less, therefore others earn less, therefore they spend less. We're going to stop that vicious cycle and we're going to contain, uh, we're going to contain this uh, problem. The president's going to do whatever it takes to achieve that objective. Uh, uh, you're getting uh, a lot of the credit for helping to get this done, but Congress finally agreed to release the rest of the so-called TARP money, the uh, $700 billion uh, in emergency uh, months, uh, funds that were going to the banks and financial institutions. Now are you going to have uh, the second half of that $350 billion more released? Aren't you going to have to really tighten restrictions on the banks and these institutions and how they're going to use this? Aren't there going to have to be some better rules than we've seen thus far? Bob, after all the difficulties with, uh, that that program has had, uh, all the money that's been given away where people haven't seen uh, much benefit, uh, Congress's willingness to support that was really a reflection of the trust uh, they place in President-elect Obama. And President-elect and all of us on the economic team, led by Treasury Secretary Geithner, are going to do this in a very different way. Focus isn't going to be on the needs of banks It's going to be on the needs of the economy for credit, whether it's for housing to prevent foreclosures, whether it's for automobile loans, consumer credit, small business, municipalities. The focus is going to be on credit. Focus is going to be on transparency. There's going to be a website that's going to show every uh, everything the federal government disperses and is also going to show what people don't recognize, which is the obligations for repayment that institutions incur and when those repayments are scheduled. Hey, has and there's going to be accountability. Been, yeah, accountability but let me just for ask you this. Yeah. Has what has already been given to the banks and so forth, has that done any good? Bob, the honest answer is that if it hadn't been given, we don't know what would have happened and it could have been catastrophic, way beyond what we saw last uh, fall. But anyone who looks at it has got to be disappointed uh, when they look at what's happened uh, to lending. Got to think the results has been unsatisfactory. Got to think we need a more proactive approach that's got its focus on what is really the financial center of this problem, which is maintaining an adequate flow of credit. And the institutions that receive this, uh, receive government support, have to face tough regulation, honest evaluation of their capital needs. When those capital needs are met, they've got to be expected to use the money productively for the economy. Can you force these banks to loan this money and and get this going? Because that seems to be the problem in some of the cases here. The money goes out, but nothing seems to be happening on the other There's going to be a very different level of rigor in the evaluation of institutions, in the plans that are designed, in the expectations for institutions. And so institutions that are healthy that don't need it just to survive, are going to be expected to lend above their baseline levels as part of this program. 
How far down should restrictions on bonuses for executives in these companies that are getting this money, how far down should that go? Uh, maybe, maybe the top 25 executives we know in some of these institutions, the top people are saying no bonuses, but the ones down below, it's kind of murky. That's What's going to happen? That's here? a question that uh, Secretary Geithner and his team will be looking at very carefully. Obviously, it's different in an institution with hundreds and hundreds of super highly paid executives than it is in a small uh, community bank. So the rules are going to have to be crafted appropriately for the type of institution uh, that you're talking about. But what's not going to happen is that funds are going to be paid out to managers that instead could be supporting increased lending. What's not going to happen is that funds that could be supporting increased lending are being used to finance uh, acquisitions that may serve a bank but don't serve, uh, the, serve the country. Those are the things that are not going to happen under President Obama's approach. What's your evaluation of the health of the uh, big three automakers now? Are they going to make it? They're clearly in serious, uh, serious trouble. It's a reflection of problems they've had for a long time, and it's a reflection of what's happened in the economy that's reduced the demand for cars and what's happened in terms of the availability of, uh, of credit. As, as you know, uh, Bob, the Bush administration uh, committed significant support uh, to those institutions, and they're seeking to develop uh, a plan. Uh, what the president-elect has said is that any further support has to be conditioned on a real restructuring that leaves these companies in a sustainable state. That's going to require sacrifices uh, from all the stakeholders. We're not going to put government money in so that bondholders can take uh, government mo can take uh, the money out. So it's going to be a significant, uh, tough uh, restructuring. But look, uh, the automobile industry is really central uh, to. Uh, the national economy, and so it does need uh, real restructuring, but it's got a crucial role for our, in our country going forward. All right, well, Mr. Uh, Summers, we want to wish you the very best. Um, I expect you're going to need <laughs> everything you can get, including some luck here. Thanks very much, and good to be with you, Bob. Okay.